The order I'm getting ready to do is high power. He ordered uh, some women's shirts. Order came in. Got some next level, I next level ideal tees, razor backs. Get ready to print on these. Got some V-necks right here. Also, I got the screens ready to go. So also, I'm going to take it with me to, to print those also. So it's going to be fun. Also, I clean off my squeegees because I heard that the ink has chemicals in it. And it can mess up your, uh, your squeegee flies, man. So I clean my, the chemical, the chemical, the inks have chemicals in it. And it actually messes up the, the rubber uh, in, your, in your squeegees. I learned that from a guy on YouTube called Tano Ink. And I just want to shot, shoot that out to you, Tano Ink, that I appreciate you saying that because I used to leave my squeegees with ink on them. But when you said that, I went in the garage and cleaned them immediately. So so thank you. Thank you, man. feel a lot better about clean. I knew something was wrong with leaving the ink on there. But now I really know that the ink has uh, chemicals in it and it could mess up your squeegee, your squeegee rubbers. So, uh, so thank you, Tano Ink. I appreciate you, man. What I'm trying to do now, since the summertime is getting hot, is I'm trying to wake up very early and finish early. Uh, probably wake up around 6 o'clock and work till about 9.30. So you're looking at about three hours, three and a half hours. And then, you know, doing other things during the day, you know, um, cleaning up the house, doing what I got to do. And then if I need to work uh, for the rest of the day, then I'll probably get back out here when it cools down. Probably looking at about maybe like 8 o'clock, maybe 8 to 10, probably another two hours. So we're probably looking at about five and a half hours during the day that I'm probably working during the cool times at my leisure, you know. So it's not too bad, you know, but when it was cooler, you know, I could work all day, which is cool. But when it's hot, I do my best to hydrate myself. <laughs> And I do my best to um, make sure that everything stays cool.
All right, so I finally finished this order, this high power order from a customer of mine that uh, has come back a couple different times. And um, I had two hits on the front and a back pass, one on the back. And uh, right now, it's probably about 100 degrees, so it's a little hot right now. You know, I'm in this garage uh, trying to slave it out, trying to do it. It took me probably about, probably about two and a half hours to knock out. Uh, you're probably looking at about 60 shirts. Uh, so right now, I'm um, getting ready to fold everything up, getting ready to do an invoice, getting ready to call the customer, and uh, get ready to see if um, I can get some money for today if you want to come through. I just want to say one last thing. I really appreciate everyone that puts their trust in me to fulfill their business needs. I do my best to accommodate in every way I can. I am in the process of getting another six, six color press and will be training someone on it so that I can get orders out faster. If you want to get a hold of the customer for some dogs, for some uh, training, uh, contact this guy at How High Power Kennels. I'm going to put his description right now. And uh, they do a really good job. Excellent. You can watch their Instagram. I'm not sure if they have a YouTube, but you can see some of the training techniques that they use on these dogs, and it's just simply amazing. So check them out at High Power. Yeah, let's go. I'm unstoppable, yeah. do the impossible. Right. I'm irresponsible, oh. yeah, I'm phenomenal. Yeah. I got an arsenal, oh, yeah. I'm dropping bombs, you know. Oh, yeah. No, I'm not stopping, no. Let's go. Conquer yeah. the obstacle. Yeah. To the top, here I go, think I'm chosen To be the king of rock, think the people have spoken I can hear the tick tock of the clock, I'm in motion So now I'm gonna pop, causing all this commotion Yeah, yeah. sometimes I think that I'm unstoppable Yeah, ready to go man, lock and load That's right, I swear to God that I could drop you bro 